Good morning, I'm Kirby Smith, Chairman of the Board of Lake County Commissioners, and I'm here with Megan, Director of Emergency Management here in Lake County. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about storm preparedness. Hurricane season's coming up, and as you can tell, we are standing in our emergency operations center. What is exactly we do here? We uh, pull in lots of different staff members, both from our county offices as well as partner organizations, and we all work together to provide a coordinated response uh, to keep people safe. So we provide protective actions like opening our citizens information line. Uh, we also provide uh, sheltering operations, and we also coordinate sandbag operations and any of our other protective actions that we might provide to the community out of this room. So what do people need to do to help get prepared for a hurricane? Well, the best thing that I could say is to make sure that you have a plan. Uh, you want to make sure that you know what you're going to be doing in terms of communication with your family. Uh, you want to make sure you know, you know, what your risk is. So make sure you know if you're in a flood zone, make your home safe, as safe as it can be, trim your trees, make sure you don't have any debris in your yard. Um, you know, know what you need to bring in when the storm is coming. That way you don't have anything in your yard that can become a projectile in high winds. And then you'd also want to make sure that you have a kit together. So if you do need to evacuate your home, make sure that you have a kit full of supplies that you would need if you need to, to leave your home. What do you want to put in this kit that you're talking about? Well, you can have a kind of a shelter in place kit and then you can also have an evacuation kit. So we're looking at things like if it's your, your shelter in place kit, you want to have enough water uh, for uh, three gallons, at least three gallons per person per day. So make sure that you're accounting for every single person in your home. Uh, you also want to make sure that you have any special supplies. So things like um, medication that you might have for folks in your home who have special needs. And then also make sure that you're taking care of your pets, you know, pet food, uh, records, all that kind of stuff in a way that, that is, is safe. So if you have printed records, make sure that they're in some kind of like page protector so that if they get wet, you know, nothing's going to happen to them. And as always, you know, sometimes you will lose power. So you need to make sure you have flashlights, and candles, battery operated radio, so you can stay in touch with people. Absolutely. Um, you definitely want to have a NOAA weather radio in your kit. Um, and that's a device that can operate either on power or on batteries. And it'll keep you up to date on some of the most, um, you know, important alerts that would happen during a storm. So for example, if during a hurricane there were a tornado touchdown, something like that, you're going to get one of those automatic alerts to let you know what's happening in your area. Well, very good. And if you have a generator, never run your generator inside. Always have it outside where it's a well ventilated area so you don't get the carbon monoxide in the gas fumes. Absolutely. I cannot stress how important that is. Um, some of the primary injury and death that we see post storm is from carbon monoxide. And that's something that is incredibly preventable. So if we just get the message out and make sure that folks know never to run those generators inside, we'll be doing a whole lot better. So we're in Lake County. Lake County happens to be right in the middle of the state, which is one of the safest places in Florida to be. However, if you get an evacuation notice, you need to heed to that evacuation notice. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, definitely make sure that you're heeding all warnings that come from local state officials um, because they're going to know what the risk is um, better. Well, very nice talking to you today. And if you have Alert Lake, uh, all this information will be sent to you via text messages or over the, over the phone. So um, stay safe, take care of your family, take care of your pets, and I'll see you next Wednesday.